interviewing Mark Sixby. Hello. Hi, Mark. So, um, just wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, what you do as an artist and some of the tools that you may use. And so we have curved blades, high carbon steel, all different diameters uh, depending on what the knife is needed for. A good ergonomics, the blades are sharpened on both sides. So I see when you're using these blades you do like go back and forth with the direction. That, that's handy having the edge on both sides. And some of them are more ornamental. Ah uh, yeah, we got a... So that's actually a flex cut blade. So Set what's a what was gonna be a totem pole? So what's a flex cut blade? <laughs> it's a commercially available carving tool. Ah, okay, I see. And some of these blades are not commercially available. Uh, correct. The curved blades uh, one must make. Uh, some people like to use files. These actually were sliced off an old bandsaw blade from the sawmill at Metlakatla. So the profile of the steel itself is cut out. So we shape them with a bench grinder and uh, belt sanders and then whetstone, get an edge on there, heat them up red hot with a blowtorch, and then apply the curve on an anvil. So this is the inside of a war helmet that you're working on? Yes, this is a one solid piece of alder wood in the shape of a wolf. These shells, they're a, uh, basically a sea snail's door. They're going to go up inside along here. This is one of the fangs. And some several smaller pieces will be the teeth. And we'll set abalone in the eyes, get it all painted up, and uh, line the inside. 